Susie sat on the table in a humble little cottage. My sister Griselda, in a lovely new gown, was sitting in the only comfortable chair watching while Greta works. Griselda speaks first. What are you doing, Greta? Well, I thought the prince might be hungry when he came, so I'm preparing some food for him. It's a cold, snowy day, and he must have traveled far. The prince is assumed to eating fine food. He will not eat such a meal as that. But it is very nice. The bread is fresh from the oven, and the butter is sweet. I kept the milk cold, and this honey is from my own bees. This is Sister Gazelle. The prince is assumed to eating fine food. He will not eat such a meal as that. But it is very nice. The bread is fresh from the oven, and the butter is sweet. I kept the milk cold, and this honey is from my own bees. I should be ashamed. Such a humble fare for the prince. There, that must be the prince now. I am a humble beggar, wandering over the land. The day is cold, and I am hungry. May I sit by your fire and have a bit of bread? Of course. Won't you have this chair? No, I'd be continent to sit by the fire. I will give you some food at once. Greta, your foolish little bear come over accepting the prince. The prince? Yes, the prince is to choose his bride today. He will knock at every door in the kingdom, and the fairest maid he meets will be his bride. Greta, throw us your time talking about beggar. Bring me so we are someone that poor. Can that be the prince? Please come in. Why is good by Fanna. How are you? It is good to see you. I'm very tired, Fanna. May I rest a while in your warm cottage? Why, surely, good by Fanna. Sit here and rest, and I will give you some food. Thank you, my child. It is so kind of you to be so thoughtful. I hope it'll be a moment the prince came. Hush, Gazelda. No prince is more welcome than our friends and neighbors. The prince is to choose his bride today, is he not? Yes, indeed. That's why I'm wearing a new gown. And you have a new gown for top. My sales in the marketplace were poor this week, and there was not enough money for two new frocks. So you bought one for your sister instead? Uh, it's best for Griselda have the dress. I'm sure the prince would never choose me anyway. And why not? Why not? It is plain to see that that is not suit for us, princess she. I hear someone. This time it must be the prince. Come in. Hands, what has happened to you? Come here. Good day, neighbors. I cut my hand on the icy ledge, and I found your racket for me. You're always so kind. Good gracious, everybody come to the kingdom of the neighbors. Hens, I shall be glad to bind your hand. It is a painful cut, too. Life in the shepherd boy is hard. Sit and rest, and I'll give you some food. I'll clean and bandage the cut first. How kind of you, Greta. It is nothing, Hans. I like to help people. It is great, and I'm tired of sitting here still. It's a prince and never coming. Look at the door, Greta. My friends, the prince is here. The beggar stands. Pause. And places a, a golden crown upon his head. Everyone bows low. Please rise, good people. You are really the prince? Your highness, we're really honored. We are really honored. My search for a bride has ended. Oh, really, your highness? Really? Greta is to be my bride. Greta? <sighs> she is going to come make a charming princess whom all the kingdom will love and honor. I see her in true self. I know those who saw me begged her to show their true self, and that is why I came in disguise. You were wise, my son. You are fortune, your highness. But your highness, are you sure? Your highness, I'm very sure. Long live the princess! <laughs>